Hey guys, I'm Cyborg Sheep, and welcome to the Weekend Post. In this episode, we're going to be doing some more achievements in Portal 2. Now, uh, something weird happens, but also something really annoying happens. Um, the actual shot where I, I actually re record, recorded this, um, there's two parts in here. This is the first part, and then the other part is uh, where I uh, I actually get the achievement. Uh, this part here where I, that I'm recording right now, it for some reason got corrupted. I don't know why. And then I was I was being a complete idiot. I was clicked on the wrong one. Uh, do do do. Right click. Press delete. Oops. Oh, you just screwed yourself. Uh, so, this is kind of a redo, and I'm not gonna get the achievement, because I've already done it, but, uh, and you can't turn back time in Portal, really, or at least I don't want to, uh, but anyways, I'll, I'll still, uh, do the video as, as planned, um, as I normally planned it to, to do, um, so anyways, uh, so in this episode, we're going to be doing an achievement, um, in the last episode, I did the achievement called Overclocker. In this episode, um, I'm going to be doing the achievement called Ship Overboard. It's called Discover the Missing Experiment. And this achievement involves some in, involves a boat. However, it's sort of an interesting story This with this boat. It's involved not only in this game, but in actual Half-Life. Half-Life 2 or something like that, and I watched a video on this, and pff, unfortunately, uh, I I kind of spoil it for myself, but uh, anyways, this boat, its intent was to bring a, ap a device that Aperture Science made, a teleportation device. However, something weird happened, and I'll talk more about it once we, once we get there. So let's, let's go and get there, and then, uh, and then I'll talk a little bit more about it. Okay, so anyways, uh, getting back to the game. So, let's start a new game. Now, I don't think it's in any of the, uh, parts where you're up on, up on the top of Aperture. Because it's an old experiment, I would expect it to be in either the Fall or the Reunion. Now, <laughs> idiot of idiots that I am, I think I figured out where it is. I... I maybe accidentally watched a YouTube video that I thought would have been what what the significance of it is, uh, but it also featured where it might have been. I kind of tried to skip over those parts, although I think I, by looking at it, I think I'm pretty sure uh, that it's in the reunion. Um, I, just to make sure, though, I'll, I'll skim through the fall. Uh, there's one place that I think it might be. I don't think so but it's worth checking so let's start start in the fall I'll go through the whole thing until I get to the reunion and then I think once the the reunion starts that part is uh, pretty close to where we want to be so let's get started just because it's funny Yep, he's a real moron, right? Duh. Well, stupid me. <laughs> oh, man. It's not actually bottomless. Because I've already played this game. Yep, oh, I remember that GLaDOS, although I'm not, you're not getting my boot. Oh, crash, boom, bang. Okay, uh, back to the, back to finding the achievement. I'll be back. 
Oh, boats! Aurora Borealis! <laughs> this is just ridiculous. <laughs> I'm on a, I'm going on a boat hunt. <laughs> so funny, man. Oh, man. Oh, boat! Where art thou, Boatio? Oh, where would be such thing as boat? Keep out. Welcome to After Science, people. We are Go Bigger Home Go Go On, people. <laughs> Judging by this massive door. <laughs> And the door was opened. But for this. Tiny little door and all that. Just for a tiny little little nothingness thing. <laughs> oh man. Go big or go home, people. You know what I'm saying? These guys uh, certainly went overboard on keeping this place sealed up. Oh, boats! <laughs> okay, so, anyways, generally speaking, um, if we go up here, um, through, through, uh, there, there's a whole bunch of doors here. Uh, well, there's actually, is there only two? Oh, there's that one. Test chambers 1 to 200. Underground tr train test? Train to test shafts. Oh, that I never noticed. Uh, now, I figured it might have been through one of these doors, like one of them you could actually uh, open, and then. Well, let's see. Uh, well, yeah, you can't open them. Test chambers 1 to 200. This one is just kind of like blasted open uh, for whatever reason. 1952. Uh, Let's go over. You look up and just see this massive sphere, and then that other one up there, and this thing, which is completely pointless because all you really need is to put me, like, you could, you could like have me, have me fling higher, and then come out there, and then, and then have me fall down here, and then, yeah. I suppose, but still. Anyways, um, so yeah, this is where I thought it was, along here. However, that is not the case. It is actually uh, somewhere else. So, uh, let me go and get to that point, and I'll be back there. Me. Jinx, you owe me soda. Yeah, she owes me a soda. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, uh, interrupting the, uh, yeah, I think I actually did that once in the last video. I interrupted the, well, I had one, the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the, the voiceover, or is it voiceovers? I think it's voice, pre-recorded messages. I had the, uh, pre-recorded messages interrupting themselves. So, let's try not to have that happen. Uh, I guess it, it doesn't matter, because I won't be recording, but still. Uh, let's continue on. 
Repulsion Gel was Aperture's first attempt to create a diabetic pudding substitute. It's true the gel is a sweeter, slightly less non-toxic form of fiberglass insulation that causes subsequently ingested food items to bounce off the lighting of a dieter dieter's ingested so stomach and out of his or her mouth. For various reasons, this product was pulled from the shelves. And thus, it is bouncy. Okay, yeah, I'm recording. Okay, um, so there was a, uh, one of the, uh, gameplay, there was a, a gameplay advertisement that Portal made. The way they, they're, they're, the, the test was the exact same thing, only, like, it, it wasn't the old, like, I guess in this case it's a 50s Aperture Science. It was the actual, uh, like, uh, futuristic Aperture Science with nice, uh, panels and all that stuff. But anyways... Uh, the way they solved this was very cool. Uh, well, so let's see if I can, uh, reenact that here. So, uh, uh, let's see. How do I do this? Okay. Portal there. Portal there. Portal there. Right? Yeah. Let's do this. Huh? Huh? Huh. Oh, I screwed it up, I screwed it up, I screwed it up. Darn it! Nope, I screwed it up. Hold on. Yeah, no, never mind, I screwed it up. So basically speaking... What they would do is... They would... Place the portal there. Uh, place the other portal there so that the gel comes out. Hits there. And then places the other, or removes that portal and puts it here, and then falls down, and then, so the gel comes out, and then immediately after you come out, well, not immediately after, but maybe a couple seconds after, you come out, and then the gel will splat on the floor, however you will bounce off and over to the exit. Uh, so it's pretty interesting, uh, and it's, uh, I have managed to get it correct before, but, uh, you gotta get your portal placements right, but anyways, no, not worth screwing around right now. Uh, so, just a fling for me. Whee! So, interestingly enough, the... There's actually an, uh, another achievement in here. It's called, uh... Uh, Schrodinger's Catch. Um, that's a hard last name to say. Just saying. Uh, but basically speaking, uh, when the... In this, in this test chamber, this is like a, a, a glass, glass chamber, and then there's like a, there's a metal, uh, floor, but, uh, there's no way to get the cube out, so you have to, uh, blue gel it. Bouncy cube... Breaking the glass. Oh. You call that smudging up the glass, Cape Johnson? <laughs> okay, so anyways, now that it's now that it's all bouncy, uh, the achievement is uh, catch the cube in midair. Um, so like it bounces, and then uh, you so it bounces, you catch it. Not uh, so. Not you don't catch it like immediately after it bounces, but you catch it from, from, uh, a couple minutes after it bounced. So, like, here, uh, let's see if I can do this. Uh, do 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 bouncy cube. Bouncy, bouncy. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. Would have got it there. So, yeah. Anyways, just something cool. Alrighty then. So let's see here. Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Amateur Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt. Sir, the testing. Right. Now you might be asking. 
asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also put 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything, unless it's test-related. Okay, so anyways, uh, so here we are, um, so like I said, I kind of spoiled it for myself by watching the video, uh, but supposedly it's up in that room right there, so let's go up and take a look. And, uh, yeah, sure enough. Oh, so cool. This is amazing. Oh, here it is. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, man, that's, that's, that's neat. It's got, like, pipes and stuff. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much the achievement, is, uh, just finding this room. That's pretty neat. That's for stink's sake, the scroll wheel. Um, so, yeah, the Borealis. Aurora Borealis. Uh, I think, remembering from what I said in the last... Remembering what they said in the video. Um, of course, I'll leave a link in the description to that video. Uh, but... The Aurora Borealis, it, uh... It was a sort of icebreaker-looking boat... And, uh, it was, I'm not sure if it was built by Aperture, or it might have been built by Aperture, judging by these cranes, but, uh, it was, it was, uh, they, they, uh, they were using it to transport a, uh, teleportation device. Uh, the device, uh, this tele, this, uh, teleportation device, however, was super powerful, and, and, uh, because like I mentioned at the video, beginning of the video, uh, this would be perfect for Aperture, because, uh, at the time of, uh, the Aurora Borealis, they were, uh, kind of, like, uh, in conflict with, uh, the, uh, rival company, uh, Black Mesa, <laughs> I think as you heard from the, uh, Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt. <laughs> Anyways, aside from that, so what happened was, uh, the, the teleportation device, you know, it's super powerful. Much powerful means you can teleport an entire ship to places you don't even know where it went. And that's basically what happened. Uh, teleportation device teleports the boat off into nowhere. And you guys don't know what they are. Um, I don't know what happens after that. Um, turns out, uh, so, and here it's an achievement. However, in the campaign in Half Life 2, it is a, um, it's something that you pass by. Half Life for Half Life 2, I'm not sure. But uh, it's something that you pass by in the campaign. Uh, it's, it's part, one of the plot points is, uh, finding the Aurora Borealis, and I think there's actually a map, a Half-Life 2, or one map, or something like that. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, that's basically speaking it, so, let's, uh, that's, that's pretty much it. So, I guess let's, uh, move on and do the rest of the, uh, Let's, uh, finish, get, let's get to the elevator, and then, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Uh, hi. Hi. You're good, Could you Wait, how do I, how do I, how do I, how do I, I was gonna say, how do I kill it, but, okay. What?
Ah, uh, well, that's gruesome. Well, you sound truthful enough. What is wrong with you? I'm... I saved you, thank you. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, you, you good? Gus? Uh, two seconds, actually. Oh, and GLaDOS goes again. Okay. Uh, okay, so getting to the elevator. And don't make this mistake again. Put that up there before you jump. Think before you jump, people. We flying into infinity in the elevator. Dunk. And there we go. And GLaDOS fizzling out again. Um, but yeah, so so begins the reunion of uh, you and GLaDOS. As as bitter as as it is, GLaDOS the 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 jerk that she is. Uh, but yeah, um, so there's that achievement done. Uh, so I think that's it. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, Getting the ship overboard achievement. Yeah, uh, this was uh, pretty interesting and uh, definitely a uh, interesting mix of uh, two games and not one uh, for once. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that's it. Gonna be it for now. Uh, so subscribe if you're new. Uh, hit that like button maybe and. Uh, Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next episode.